You guys remember that video I did last week? Whatever, wherever it was, whenever it was, I don't know. Time, time's just a construct that, whatever. Um, <clears throat> remember the video I did about the monitors that attached? Well, these guys are just a bunch of crooks. They're criminals, they should be arrested, and they should be castrated, and thrown away, and locked up, and, for, and lose the key. That's probably a little extreme. But what I will tell you is that the company that actually designed the monitor and stuff reached out to us and was like, hey, you should probably know that we're in the middle of suing them. And I was like, won't you send us your stuff? And that's what they did, right here. EBJ is proud to announce their 23rd anniversary 123 deal. Right now, if you buy a new graphics card and power supply bundle, you can get a peripheral, including a keyboard, a mouse, or a capture card for just 23 cents. That's right, any of their keyboard, mice, or capture cards for 23 cents. But it's a limited time offer, only good until July 16th. Wait a minute, 23 cents for a keyboard, a mouse, or a... That's a good deal. So I talked about this a little bit in the, the keyboard monitor combo thing video that went live the other day. Um, it's really difficult when you buy on Amazon to know if you're buying from one of these companies that is just knocked off a brand. So I'll kind of recap this again, the way this works. As you probably already know, like, gosh, probably greater than 90% of the manufacturing of electronics takes place in Eastern Asia, whether it be Taiwan, Hong Kong, Shenzhen, right, that region. <clears throat> so. What happens is companies will, they'll kickstart or they'll just put out their own money to develop a product and they need someone to make it. So then they go to these, these manufacturers and then they come up with the prototypes and they come up with the tooling and all that and they go back and forth and when everything's ironed out and ready for prime time, they fulfill the order that the customer sends to them. But because they also have access to all of the, the means to make it, they manufacture their own, stealing the design, throwing whatever random name they want on it and then just undercutting usually the original person which then at that point is extremely shady. That's like if, I mean, I guess Facebook was kind of the same way. Someone just was hired to make something and then they took it as their own. But anyway, it's extremely shady. The problem is with the regions out there, it's very difficult to actually go and fight that sort of theft. XBEC, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't think it's Quebec. They are uh, in the middle of, of legal battles right now with like Team G and all these other brands that have completely stolen their design. So when they reached out to me, I said, hey, send us your stuff and we'll take a look at it. I was absolutely, and I put a pinned comment and a description comment as well on that previous video telling you all, hey, don't buy from any of those Amazon guys. I'll show you exactly who uh, designed all this stuff. So they sent us a few things here. We got the air stand, which is designed to attach to the bottom of your laptop to lift it up and get better airflow to your uh, intake fans on the bottom. This is the tri-screen adapter. I'm not exactly sure what this is yet. But their tri-screen's a little different because they've continued to innovate. The packaging, as you can see also, it's much more elegant in a way. Um, these screens, however, pull out into, uh, they slide in and slide out. So instead of having the crazy hinge that flips out, which they also came up with that design, this is their newer design that just slides in and out. So let's unbox it, let's hook it up. So in terms of packaging, it's, it's already so much better. I Actually feels a little Apple-ish, especially since they have MacBooks on the cover, but this would be perfect for something like the 12 or 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, the 15 inch Lenovo Legion that I have here is a little bit on the larger side. So it's all QR code manuals, which is nice. That way it always stays up to date. Do you see how much nicer the packaging is when you actually go through the brand that designed it and cares? Flip that up. Welcome to the Xbec family. And if I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Zebec? Zebec? Zebek, Zebek family? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, your name didn't make it any easier to identify who was the real one. I'm sorry, it's just my opinion, but I'm sure there's a reason behind the name. I really don't know what it is. I don't really care, it's just hard to say. Uh, the future of work is here and, you're, and we're stoked uh, you joined us. Now you're equipped to make the world your office and we can't wait to see where that leads you. Prepare to free yourself. Uh, Alex and Trevor? Who emailed me? I'm curious now. All right, so it was Alex, the co-founder, because I remember those two founders here. So Alex is the one that reached out to us. Can you email me or and or maybe can make a comment on how to say this and what it means? I'm just curious. Names to me, I'm always curious how people come up with them. So here is the unit. The entire mechanism here, as you can see, is what attaches to the panels. Um, and I believe they said it will support up to 15 or 16 inch, somewhere around there. But they pull out like that. See that? And then this one pulls out this way. It's actually even quicker 
to use in the other one. And you do get some of the hinging, which I said I wish we had on the other one. Again, they did design the other ones. It's actually 10 inch. So it's gonna look a little small, especially if they're full HD, 1080p. Um, but there's that right there. We've got this elastic band, which I believe is what's sort of holding some things together, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just slide all that back in for now. So here's your TriScreen 2 user guide. Again, with a QR code, shows you all the connectivity, how to set up your, it even goes into Windows here to show you how to set your displays. By default, it will do extend, not extend, it'll do uh, mirror the display. So it'll basically be the same thing on all the panels. Then you have to go into extend displays and arrange them into the right order. We'll show you how to do that. And then here are the plugs. Ooh, these are much nicer plugs than the ones we got from the knockoff brand. So check this out. They're braided. Phil, check that out. USB-C 90 degree plug. Nice. So instead of having 90 degree on the cable, which there is a 90 degree on the cable for the HDMI, um, you actually can just plug that in if needed. You have an adapter of USB-C to USB-A 3.0, two of those, in case your computer does not have USB-C on the sides. Fortunately, this tablet or this laptop does have USB-C on both sides, so I won't be needing the adapter. USB-C to HDMI. Oh no, I'm sorry, these are mini HDMI to HDMI. And then these are USB-C to USB-C 90 degrees. So you've got options here, which are kind of nice. So you'd be able to use these with any HDMI input or output device. Try screen adapter, what does this guy do? Okay, so we have got here an, ad an adapter box that goes to a USB 3.0 to two, wait, one mini HDMI and one USB-C. Interesting. And then right here we have ourselves a short USB-C to USB-A 3.0 adapter plug. And then the air stand, it's pretty straightforward. This guy just goes on the bottom of your laptop. And then you just be like, so it stays flat like that. And then when you want to use it, and these are double-sided sticky tape, by the way, and they're perforated in case there's a vent, then you can just flip it up like that. Did I do it backwards? So there's like a magnet right there, I think. Yeah, that's right. But it may not work on this laptop, only because I can't get it to the very rear because of that rubber, you see this rubber piece right here? So it may not work on this laptop very well, only because I can't get it to that very rear piece. That's too bad, because that would have been nice to have on this laptop. All right, something to keep in mind. Maybe it works better on something lighter, like an MacBook Air or something that doesn't have all this forward weight. Um, but regardless, you saw. All right, let's get this bad boy attached. So it looks like we are just elastic. So the elastic here does nothing but keep the tension on the panel. So the kickstand's actually at the bottom, like that, which is kind of nice to see. It's a little bit rubbery, which means it's gonna have some friction, so it won't be sliding across the table. You can just fold that back up like that. Let's see. So much easier than the other one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're a little on the small side for this size panel, but again, the use case at which we described on the other video that seems to make the most sense for us is actually uh, you know, using them for asset folders and stuff or live stream or live uh, stream monitoring, OBS, like that sort of stuff. And what's funny about this, they're lighter than the other panels. Yes, they're smaller, but check that out. The hinge is actually able to hold them at about a 45 degree angle. Then if we needed, you know, there's our, what you want to call it right there. And that is adjustable. As you can see, it gets a little, little flimsy, but you know, be careful with that. I wouldn't want to break that. But there's that. If we go at a sharper angle, it even holds stronger. So you can see on the bottom of each panel, they're independent. So this is why you need two mini to HDMI and two USB-C on each side. These are gonna occupy your USB-C plugs. And this is an extension cable, by the way, in case you need it, I forgot to show that. So USB-C extension. Many of you hated our ASMR video, but I'm gonna do this anyway. Ah. 
Some of you guys asked for farts in that video. USB-C to A adapter on there. I'm curious as to whether or not the second USB-C plug on here basically is a pass-through, so you don't lose your USB-C connectivity. Um, I don't have another USB-C device, so that's why I'm just, if it communicates through there, then we know that it works. So I just wanna see, okay. All right, look at that. So what about this one? All right, let me try the one on the back. Okay, that one changed. Yep, there we go. So for some reason, this USB-C right here isn't outputting video. You know, I wanna point out the color on these already look better than the other type of panel. I just wish they were bigger. Uh, so we have contrast control, brightness control, eco mode, gamma, DCR, and low blue light. Color temp, OSD setup. You know what, I kinda like where they are right now. I don't really wanna change them. So 1920 by 1080. Did I just start another one? Oh man, how many of these can you run at a, at a time? Now we got a new benchmark test. <laughs> three, three heavens? <laughs> there. <laughs> well, I never knew you could do that. That's new to me. I didn't know you could literally run multiple instances of it. Holy crap. This is Jay's ultimate use case for three monitors. Is three, three Dude, instances of heaven? <laughs> they're like, they're so, Getting choppy now. <laughs> so like input lag was something we noticed on the other panel uh, setup. Like it was noticeably bad, but. It's a little bit, a little bit behind. I mean, I wouldn't be playing games on it, but like we already showed in our previous video, I'd be doing, our OBS can be all screwed up now because the layout was designed for that keyboard monitor. <laughs> Uh, the text is very small on this panel though, and you know, my old eyes and stuff. So again, for our use case we, just, we used last time, um, here's an example, right? You can be monitoring your live screen or have your moderator panel up right there. You can have your game in the center, your OBS on the left, so it'd still be perfect for a mobile live stream setup. I mean, the use case didn't change just because the, the product did. Yeah, I mean, this makes sense for like smaller laptops. I mean, it's still very usable here. I just, I would love, expect if you're paying attention and maybe if you're already in the process of making a larger version of this, since 15 inch, especially with my, my audience would be probably using a lot more 17 inch panels to be honest, but these would look very silly on a 17 inch. Um, but yeah, I think the larger real estate would, would be nice. But if I were to be, Again, using this on the road, like I already said, this would be the absolute best use case scenario, or we already explained Phil using it for mobile editing and such. But what we need to do now is we have to demonstrate the ease of use regarding being done with this, right? So let's say we're gonna shut down the laptop, right? We're done with what we're doing. We need to put this thing away and carry it with us. It doesn't seem to come with a carrying case or bag, which would have been really neat to have on plug cable. Unplug cable, boom. Stretch this apart, pull it up. Fold in the kickstand, straighten that out, push it in, straighten this out. Try not to touch the monitor. That's very tight, that one's very snug, there we go. It's now assembled, right, that's it. These two things, that's it. All right, you're done with your laptop, you put it in your bag. I, because the panel is exposed right here is why I would absolutely love to have seen some sort of a little bag that this can go in or something to protect it. Um, there's nothing like that in here and you wouldn't want to have to carry this around in your backpack for obvious reasons. Um, setup, obviously would be just as fast in the inverse. Boom, boom, it's upside down. Jay, you're an idiot. Boom, boom, boom. Kickstand down. Uh, 90 degree plug. In. And on this laptop, I have to go behind on this one. And there. Your multiple panel workstation is now set up. Will it remember our settings though? Let's see, like will it go back to exactly how, as we had it set up? Oh yeah, look at that, auto, auto. Should still be con configured, yep. Anyway, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm glad that 
Xbeck, Zebeck, however it's pronounced, reached out to us because I absolutely positively would never knowingly and intentionally promote a thief, to be honest, a, a thievery company. Look, support the originals. This is how this stuff gets created. It's the, the lying and stealing and cheating of brands stealing from other brands that stifle innovation because if you can't make any money because you spent all the money developing it and then someone else just steals it and undercuts you, then uh, yeah, clearly that's, that, that's never right on any level in any morale world that you may live in. So I'm just gonna close it back up again. There we go. That's it, it's just that simple. Develop a carrying case. That's all I would like to see, different, other than the size being a little bit larger, but uh, hey, don't we all? <laughs> I'd also like to see the subscriber count be a little larger. We love hanging out with you guys, so click sub if you like this. Otherwise, don't click it, you don't have to. Just come back manually, I'm fine with that too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.